Hi, welcome to Vlogtober Day 5. This is the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel and my name's Angela. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I have no idea um, what I'm going to film or what I'm going to be up to today. Um, I feel quite tired today. Not only did I work late last night, but I had a pretty crappy night's sleep. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be running on fumes today. I didn't get much done on my brushed fleece project. I have a query with the pattern, so I am waiting for a response on that. I'm hoping I'll get one today. If I don't, that will knock out knitting time this weekend and that will really make it tight for me to meet the deadline. But uh, they're usually pretty quick in responding uh, if there are any issues. So hopefully I'll be able to get on with that at some point. I managed to finish the first of my mother-in-law socks because I didn't have the brushed fleece knitting to do and obviously I had three groups yesterday so there was quite a bit of knitting time. There was a few queries for me to help people with on their projects but uh, nothing too taxing so uh, yeah I finished the first stock and I've cast on for the second but I've left it downstairs. Rubbish. <laughs> Aren't I? Yeah I'm completely unprepared. Before I go off to work today, I am going to go in search of a bacon sandwich. <laughs> it's Friday and why not? So I'm going to walk up into town in search of food and my feet are going to be cosy in my Bickerstraat socks today. Uh, it's a pattern by Kemper, Kemper Ray, I want to say, and um, knit in yarn from Sarah's Texture Crafts. Unfortunately, Sarah doesn't dye anymore. Um, but yeah, I really love these socks. I hunted down breakfast and it has been consumed. So I'm feeling a touch more human now. <laughs> I've got a few things that I'd like to try and accomplish in the shop today. Uh, first off, I'm going to hopefully record the final segment for a normal vlog. I've got a couple of new things in the shop that I want to chat about and then I should be able to edit that together and hopefully get that uploaded at some point over the weekend, if not today. So that's first on the agenda. And then I have got a little bit of tidying up that I'd like to try and do if I have time. Uh, so I am um, stood right by my counter at the moment, the tills just over my shoulder. And this till area has become a bit of a dumping ground. I'm gonna spin you around and show you. So yeah, this is the mess <laughs> that currently surrounds my till. So with any luck, I'm going to pull that stuff out and give it a good sort out today uh, because it's just getting on my nerves. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of the agenda for today and hopefully we'll have some customers at some point to keep me busy. Um, and as always, I will try and record snippets of anything that uh, comes along. I'm all set up and ready to record my in-shop segment for the usual vlog. I use my laptop to balance my phone um, and I usually use this wall as a background. I've obviously got some of my project bags and some lovely hand-dyed yarn um, as a backdrop there so that always makes something nice and interesting to look at for you guys. And I've got a big pile of stuff on the table um, that I am going to chat about. It's now about three o'clock and it's been sadly quite quiet in here customer wise today um, but that's okay it's given me time to do some other bits and pieces. I've managed to um, film the footage that I wanted to film for a normal vlog episode. Um, I tidied that mess that was around my tail. Um, yeah I'll show you that right now. All tidy makes me happy. I've cleaned the kitchen and just generally done a bit of tidying up. So I've got about an hour and a half, two hours before the shop closes. So I'm gonna treat myself to a little bit of knitting time 
that might encourage some customers through the door because as soon as I sit down to do anything, usually that's when people come in and want help with stuff. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to work on a commission that I was given this week. Um, it's a really cute little pinafore dress. I'll show you the pattern um, from Serdar. Uh, the pattern number is 4881 for anyone who is interested. I'm just doing the first size um, in this lovely dress which has got a um, lace pattern up to the chest area. And I'm actually going to be knitting it, not in Serdar yarn, but um, in this lovely yarn from Yarn Stories, um, who are a lovely British company. And this is their Fine Merino DK. Um, I've only got a couple of colourways of this in the shop at the moment, but I'm definitely going to expand the range. Um, so yeah, when I have some extra funds, I will be bringing some more of these um, yarns into the shop. Absolutely gorgeous. So I haven't got very far, I've literally just started, <laughs> cast on and done a few rows and just starting the first loop of the patterning. So yeah, that's going to be me for the next hour or so. As you can see, I'm back home in my craft room. As predicted, I knit about two rows on that pinafore dress. As soon as I picked up the knitting, people came into the shop. So to me, that is a good justification for trying to sit and knit all day because it seems to encourage people to come in. <laughs> anyway, I was going to go to the seafront after work, but I am pretty exhausted, I have to say, and I still have tomorrow morning to work. So I decided to come home and I have uploaded my normal longer vlog to YouTube and I am preparing for a nice relaxing Friday night at home. At some point James will be home from work and I'm sure we'll just sit in front of the telly and I shall do some knitting on my turn sleeves. Despite me declaring that the whip of the week, I haven't touched it. <laughs> so if I am to achieve my goal of trying to get those sleeves finished this week I needed to put a dent in that this evening but for now I am going to do a little bit of something different a few weeks ago I ordered this pattern which is a metamorphic dress by Sew Liberated I have not done any garment sewing uh, for many a year and the last time I attempted it it did not go right <laughs> but I am going to do my usual. I'm just going to dive straight in and see what happens. I know I should probably plan a little bit more, a better attempt at doing things properly, but I'm a firm believer in learning by your mistakes and I make a lot of them, so I should be really clever by now. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to go for it, see what happens. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get some pattern pieces cut out until James gets home. Uh, I probably won't get any further than that on this this evening. But this pattern has been sat on my desk for probably about 10 days. And I think the longer I leave it, the more likely I am to psych myself out and decide never to do it. So I think I just needed to bite the bullet and get my teeth in. So yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the evening. I, think I will call it a day for the vlog today. I should do a bit of editing obviously a bit later on and get this uploaded too. Um, but for now I am going to say goodbye to you all. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. I feel like it's been a bit disjointed today. I didn't really have a plan for today. Not that I ever have a plan but um, yeah it's just been a bit bitty. So I hope I managed to cobble something together from the footage that I have taken. And with any luck, I should be back tomorrow to say hello to you all again and report on my day's shenanigans. <laughs> so see you again soon. Bye for now.